this is Jasmine Diaries and welcome back to my channel. If you have seen my previous video where I actually did a um, DIY shoot or a fashion shoot for our company, um, I promised a part 2 which will be um, including or which will be highlighting wedding dresses. So this is it. This is going to be the part 2 of that video. Sorry if I uploaded it a little late. I wasn't sure if I was gonna finish the shoot or if there's any other more dresses that I'm, I'll be filming. So yeah, today I decided to put it up and I hope you like it. As per usual, what you see here is the exact same backdrop that I also used on my part one video or the fashion shoot. Now right here, this is what we call jibon, or this is what goes under the dress. Any wedding dress or a balloon dress that comes from us, we provide uh, this one. We call this one jibon. So before we put the dress on the mannequin, we have to wear this one in the mannequin. If you're wondering why the dresses are taking too long to be made, um, these are all handwork, as you can see, so everything will be done like this. This is how we make the designs or the pattern on the fabric before we actually make a dress out of it. Now here is my attempt on putting on the wedding dress into the mannequin. Mind you guys, it's really heavy. Don't worry guys, if you're a real person wearing the dress, this is not how we wear it on you. So I wasn't able to put the dress onto the mannequin and I needed some help. So our designer came over to help me out. So after a few pins and a little bit of alterations just to fit into the mannequin, we managed to put it in there. So I'll be showing you now the dresses and hope you enjoy it. This one right here is a A-line type of wedding dress and uh, the sleeves is a puff. Leaves. We are trying to bring this out in the market right now. So this is also one of our new latest or new collection. I just wanted to um, remind you again guys that this video and the entire production of this video has no professional equipment used. So I hope you go you enjoy this one and leave some comments down below on things or areas that I can improve. So usually the trail on our wedding dresses, it goes from up to 3 meters starting from the waistline. So that's like our basic or our standard for the tail. This wedding gown right here is a ball gown with a full sleeve. As you can see on the fabric, the beadworks on it and the patterns, these are all handmade. So it took a while, probably around two to three months to finish this dress. Classic wall gown 
So the flowers that you see on the dress from the bottom down going up and from the sleeves itself, this is all hand stitched to the fabric. Normally wedding dresses, we used to book them at least three to four months or at least five months. So we have an allowance if ever there's any changes or if ever the bride decides for a different color. So from here, you can see the fine detailing and how this has been done. So it's not a ready-made fabric. This is hand-stitched. Everything that we do in wedding dresses, it's not ready-made. This is also another wedding dress that's taking a lot of time to finish. So as you can see on the details down here. So for designs like this, it's normally placed on a pattern and then we follow some drawings on it. So guys, like I said earlier, this is what I meant that the trail of the dress usually goes from 3 meters from the waistline. So from here, you can see the design that we made from the top of the dress going right down to its trail. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the video and if you enjoyed it please do give this video a thumbs up check out the description box below i put all the information of the company that i'm working with so you can totally contact us thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming content